The building of Trump Tower was the true art of the deal. Saving money was the key. Chapter one, hire the cheapest demolition contractor you can find, even though he has little experience. Trump hired William Kosicki, whose principal business was window washing. Kosicki, in turn, hired what became known as the Polish Brigade, more than 200 immigrants with no working papers who were paid one-third the union rate and worked under difficult conditions. Years later, deny you ever knew they were there, even though you visited the site. They were sleeping in the building. They had no protective equipment. All the OSHA requirements were being ignored. They had no masks. They had no gloves. They were stripping wires with their bare hands, hot electrical wires. Chapter 2. Don't tell anyone that the building contains asbestos. The reason? Asbestos is costly to remove and dispose of. Trump says he isn't legally responsible. The law says he is. With the danger that was involved in working there, because all the wires, a lot of construction, it was covered with asbestos. Chapter 3, hire a waste hauler who doesn't care what he carts and knows how not to leave tracks. Trump's demolition contractor got Eddie Garofolo, identified by law enforcement officials as mob connected. In August of 1990, while reportedly cooperating with federal authorities investigating racketeering in the construction trades, Garofolo was shot to death gangland style in his driveway. In the dead man's pocket, a wad of cash and a high-rated comp card for the Trump Taj Mahal. Chapter 4 when the demolition begins, appear to be public-spirited. Promise artifacts from the building to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Chapter 5. Jackhammer the artifacts when you learn the cost of saving them. The demolition contractor allegedly said that it was going to take a long time or a longer time to take those heavy panels down. And before anybody could make a decision, Trump apparently gave the orders to have them demolished. Chapter 6. Threaten the lawyer that the Polish illegals hire after your cheap contractor defaults on paying them. Make sure that the threats aren't traceable in case the guy isn't scared off. Mr. Barron had told me in the one telephone conversation that he, I had with him that Donald Trump was upset because I was ruining his credit reputation by filing the mechanics liens and that Mr. Trump was thinking of filing a a personal lawsuit against me for a hundred million dollars for defaming his uh, reputation. It turned out that Mr. Barron was Donald Trump's favorite alias. When this was revealed, Trump said, what of it? Ernest Hemingway used the pen name, didn't he? 